Hello everybody, today I will be showing you how to add lyrics to your music files on your computer. So I will start with this program called Quadlibet. This is how I do it on a Mac. There are other options, other better options for Windows users, but I'm just gonna start with how I do it on my Mac. Um, so here is Quadlibet. You go into right click, information, Here's this lyrics tag. Um, and then you go into whatever browser you're using. I looked up hot, hot heat implosionatic lyrics um, with typos. Um, and I'm gonna use Music's Match cause yeah. Um, and then you're gonna just copy the whole thing. And then I just did Command C to copy it and Command V to paste. If you're on Windows, that's going to be Control C, Control V. Uh, and then I'm going to save it. And that just wrote all the lyrics into the tags. These are unsynced lyrics. My MP3 player requires synced lyrics for them to show up on my MP3 player. So I'm going to show you how I do that. I use one tagger for that. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to download one tagger. You're going to go to auto tag. And these are going to be unchecked, most likely. Um, I use Music's Match for lyrics, and I use Deezer for album artwork. So I'm going to click that as well. And this is the file path I am using. I'm trying to get lyrics for these songs. Choose. And these are my tags. So album art, album, and sync lyrics. And the rest I have unchecked. This is also... I think a lot of DJs use this, which is why BPM is useful. But anyways, I'm just using this for my personal connection collection. Um, yeah, this, whatever. I have overwrite tags unchecked. I don't want it to overwrite anything that might already be there. And yeah, these are my settings. The other really important one is write.lrc file. This is for synced lyrics. That's what this file is for. I will show you what that looks like when we're done. Click start. And there you go. Open the folder. And as you can see, there's the .flac, which is the music file, and the .lrc. So here you go. Boys, little toys. Oh, that was actually in the wrong, hold on. Let me go back to my headphones. There you go. There you go. That's a song, just to prove that to you. And here is the file. One second. Right click, open with text edit. And yeah, there you go. Um, yeah. So this is kind of, this is what the .lrc file is. You could technically make one yourself by just going new, typing in the lyrics. You would just go like 0028 dot, oh my God, 0028 dot 17. Um, yeah, you could do all that. Um, I'm not gonna because it's time consuming. So instead of that, I'm just showing that to you to show you how it works. But instead of doing that, you're going to go to www.lrcgenerator.com. This is just in case um, one tagger doesn't find the lyrics, or you could do this for your own songs as well if you're a musician or just whatever. But yeah, the what we're gonna do here is. Um, as you can see, I already kind of started something here, but yeah, I'm going to do this Implosionatic Hot Hot Heat song um, title. Implosionatic, great, already there. Artist, Hot Hot Heat, awesome. We're going to copy paste these lyrics again. And we're going to synchronize to music. And to do that, we're just going to add this song. I'm going to search for... Implosion Attic, there you go, and start.
before I start, basically, I'm just going to click next line every time I know the line is coming. So um, you're not going to see me do that, but I'm going to do it just to show you. Okay, as you can see, that's how you do that. I know this song really well, so it's really easy for me to do this. Um, but yeah, let's just finish this song because it'll only let me finish it, I think, if I go all the way to the end. So, okay, there it is. I think it worked and then it should download. Let's see. There it is. Okay. And so I'm going to just show you what that looks like. Um, yeah, so if you're, you're going to want to put this into the same place where the song is. So the Implosionatic song isn't here right now. Um, and I just don't want to do that right now. So I'm not gonna, but you're going to want it to be the exact same title as the dot flack. So if it were, as you can see, like Shia Smith soaked dot LRC, 23.chaismithsoaked.lrc, 23.chaismithsoaked.mp3. It's going to be the same situation for this. And the way that you would do that is you would rename it. Um, I mean, I'm just going to go. I feel like it's just pretty easy to show. So I'll just do that. Oh, my God. Okay. Let's just copy this. Copy. Paste here. Um... Oh, great. It, I guess it automatically does that in the um, the lrcgenerator.com. So that's fantastic. That's really great to know. So it automatically titles it the same for you. It just adds the .lrc. Um, and yeah, so that's how you add lyrics to your songs um, and also how to add like cover art and stuff. If for some reason, like um, I'm pretty sure it did actually add the cover art for the disco but uh it just isn't showing it but if it didn't let's go to foobar this is i like foobar for this um this is a really great um let's let's see la disco foobar is great for windows specifically i'll sh i'll sh go into this later but right now let's go into the properties of this song and see the artwork yes it did actually add that let me hold on a second so yeah um i'm gonna just x out of this so let's say it didn't find the cover for it i would go into plus and i did this and well actually one second i would do this this is what i would actually do is Do you guys like how many typos I'm doing? Okay. Um, cover. <laughs> and it is this. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag this to here. Fantastic. Um, oh, my God. It's because this is so complicated. I'm not complicated, but it's there's just so much going on. And then what I'm going to do is let me take you back here. Um, oh my god. Okay, rename. I'm just going to rename it the Disco Cover. And this can go away in a second, but let's go back to FUBAR. Add that cover that we just downloaded. The Disco Cover. Here it is. Open. And now this is written directly into the tags. Apply. Into the tags of the file. And... You can kind of, I think you can check it here or not, but on FUBAR, you can 100% check it. And so on my MP3 player, it will look like it does on FUBAR.
So I don't know why it doesn't show it in the tags just when you write get info, but I don't care because it shows it on FUBAR and that's how I check it. Um, and yeah, so that's what I do. And if you have any questions, let me know. Um, so yeah, if you have a Windows, you can use MP3 tag. I've heard good things about that. Um, you can use Wake Up, Wake Up. This one's a great one. I personally, I'll, I'll let me get into Wake Up in a second, but you can also use FUBAR 2000. This one's a very popular one specifically because of its customizability. You can download it on Mac as I have here, but I don't like that you can't really customize it like you can on Windows because all of these components, which are basically just like add-ons that are all free, um, you can add like a lyrics finder, you can add visualizers, you can add so many different things. You can add um, like play statistics, like how many times you play a song, like all of that stuff. It's just like a bunch of different things. You can add them and customize it, but really only on Windows. In theory, some of them should be for Mac, but I haven't figured out how to get them on Mac. So yes. I will not really go into that because I don't have anything more to tell you. Um, this is the website for one tagger. This is the website for quad libet. You just, you know, go to downloads, you know, download whatever. I, I don't really recommend quad libet particularly. I would recommend, I would, if you have a Mac, I do, but if you have a Windows, I would really recommend Wake Up, Wake Up specifically because it's really cute. I actually went to the trouble of downloading it on Whiskey Wine, which is a way to download Windows files, or sorry, um, to run Windows files on a Mac. So it, like anything that's a .exe, you normally can't um, run it on a Mac, but with Wine, you can, and I use Whiskey Wine because I like it more. And so I have created this little thing just for a up. And as you can see. I'm gonna make you want everything you haven't found. This is what it looks like. Um, yeah, you can customize it with skins, which is why I really like it. You can drag all this stuff around. You can, you know, you can just make it look however you want to, and that's why I really like it. Um, it also has this automatic lyrics um, generator, which I really love. So it just takes a second and it loads the unsynced lyrics into the tags, which is fantastic for just like listening. Um, and yeah, so that's the video. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if I missed anything. Let me know if there's anything that you like to use that isn't what I said. Um, I'm sure there's a trillion ways to do this. I'm sure there's easier ways to do this than how I do it. It works for me. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. I hope you have a great rest of your night or day or whenever you're watching this and bye.